Greetings, salutations, and welcome to the Militant Negro Network on YouTube. I am the Militant Negro. Thank you for coming in to visit. A little bit about these videos. They will be informative. They will be about current events and issues that affect me personally and spiritually. There will be some entertainment value, but mostly these videos will be about knowledge, information, which leads to power and freedom. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you can learn something from the videos. And if you laugh and chuckle along the way, that's great. Again, I am the Militant Negro. Welcome. Your video will start momentarily. Namaste. It appears every time I make a new video, it has to be about some person of color being executed. And sadly, this is no different. Richard Collins III, a student at Boys State University who was going to graduate this year, who is also an Army Second Lieutenant, was executed by a neo-Nazi by way of stabbing when he visited the University of Maryland during graduation weekend. Of course, he was stabbed to death by a Caucasian who was known to have a history of hate against races. So this will be investigated as a hate crime according to the FBI, but I don't put much faith in anything the FBI says or does because they have proven in the past to be full of shit. I'm going to read to you from an article in the Baltimore Sun. And it goes like this. Authorities are investigating whether the stabbing death of a black college student who was visiting the University of Maryland during graduation weekend was a hate crime. The chief of the university police said Sunday the suspect, a white University of Maryland student, is a member of a racist Facebook group and an FBI official said the federal agency will assist with the investigation. The victim, identified by police Sunday as Richard Collins III, was due to graduate from Boise, Boy, Boy State University, Bowie, not Boise, Bowie State University this week. The Calvert County man had completed ROTC in college and was commissioned a second lieutenant position in the Army on Thursday, according to school officials and a family spokesman. He was only 23 years old. Police have charged Sean Christopher Urbanski, 22, of Sylvania Park with first degree murder in the attack. He is being held without bail. His family did not respond Sunday to a request for comments, and online court records did not list an attorney as yet hired by Sean Christopher Urbanski's family. Artie Lee Travis, Boy State's Vice President for Student Affairs, said the campus is in mourning. Bowie State. I have to get that right because I think I said Boise State. It is not Boise State. It is Bowie State. The Reverend Darrell L. Godlock. Wow, a Reverend with the name Godlock. That's something else. The Reverend Darrell L. Godlock, serving as a spokesman for the Collins family, said the young man had obtained his airborne certification. Collins wanted to follow in the footsteps of his father, a military veteran, Godlock said. He wanted to make his parents proud of him, continues Godlock, so he went into the military to serve his country. It was a great opportunity for him to advance forward and make the most out of his career. 
Godlock went on to say that Collins was close to his family. This is not a thing, this is not a thug, Godlock said. This was a very caring individual. Mr. Collins was highly intelligent and he was at the peak of his career. He loved his family. He loved the people that he came in contact with. And more importantly, he loved his God. Collins was a vibrant, funny, and outgoing student whose ambition rubbed off on his friends, said Vidal Adams, a fellow Boy State student and friend of Mr. Collins. Collins talked about wanting to travel the world and go skydiving and surfing, Vidal Adams said. He wanted to be a general of the United States Army. That was his ultimate goal said Adams, who was a senior criminal justice major. He was the definition of a leader. I can't really say the same about a lot of people. Collins just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was at the university waiting with two other students for a Uber ride outside the Montgomery Hall dormitory on Regents Drive near US-1 at about 3 a.m. Saturday when he was attacked. The stabbing was captured by a surveillance camera, police said, and the attack was unprovoked according to this surveillance camera footage. Witnesses said the suspect was intoxicated and incoherent at the time of the attack. Police have said the victim and suspect did not know each other. So this was a random attack by this racist fuck who saw a Negro male standing outside of a dormitory minding his business and took that opportunity to execute him. Now you want to tell me this has to be decided whether it's a hate crime or not? Back to the story. Officers called to the scene found Collins wounded on the sidewalk. He was taken to a hospital where he died. Urbanski was arrested at the scene. Officers recovered a folding knife. Collins' friends told police they heard the suspect scream as he approached them. What was he hollering? The, the suspect said, step left, step left if you know what's best for you. Police wrote in charging documents, Collins said no police wrote. The suspect continued to approach and stabbed him once in the chest. Police said initially there was no indication that race played a role, but University Police Chief David Mitchell said information about this Facebook group was brought to their attention on Sunday. That would be the Facebook group that Urbanski belonged to. The group called Alt Reich Nation, Reich as in Third Reich for the Nazis, contained racist posts. When I took a look at the information that's contained on that website, suffice it to say that it's despicable. It shows extreme bias against women, Latinos, persons of Jewish faith, and especially Negroes, Mitchell said. The FBI digital forensics team will look for information online that sheds lights on the case, Mitchell said. The suspect, Urbanski, has not told police of any motive. Gordon Johnson, an agent in the FBI's Baltimore field office, said his office assists in hate crime investigations. He called Collins a national treasure and said people should remember the victim and his family. This is a terrible, terrible dark time for them. And we can't forget that, Johnson said. The killing comes after a series of racist incidents at the college in recent months. A noose was found in a fraternity house earlier this month and posters promoting nationalism were found on campus earlier this year. The attack came as students, parents, and faculty prepared to celebrate commencement exercises on Sunday. 
It was the first homicide on campus in decades. The University of American President Wallace D. Lowe opened the graduation ceremony at the Xfinity Center Sunday with a moment of silence. On behalf of our entire community, President Lowe said, I want to express our profound sorrow and anguish for the horrific tragedy. President Lowe called the killing a senseless and unprovoked assault and asked the audience to stand to express our profound sorrow and anguish for this horrific tragedy. Collins was to graduate from Bowie State on Tuesday with a degree in business administration. He was to serve in Army Intelligence. End of the story from the Baltimore Sun. Now I'm not going to do my usual rant about racism being a disease and any of that bullshit because that doesn't bring Mr. Collins back from the dead. Richard Collins III was a Negro male. He was not a thug. He was not a gangbanger. He was not a troublemaker. He was not smoking weed and doing drugs and running the street. He was a young man working toward a future. Now, none of that means that when a thug or a drug dealer or a gangbanger or a troublemaker who happens to be a person of color gets executed at the hands of a racist, that that's okay. What it means is this was a young man who was going someplace and his life was taken just like he was a gangbanger or a thug or a drug dealer or a rabble rouser. So what I'm trying to get across to everybody is simply this. Nowhere in this world, no matter what kind of a human being you are, are you safe from racism. You can be a good kid. You can be a troubled kid. You can be a young boy like Tamir Rice, or you can be an old man. You still are in danger in the United Slave States of America clan of being executed because of your skin color. That shit's got to stop. I'm out of here. Peace out. Namaste. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If you like the Militant Negro YouTube Network, then subscribe. Namaste.